how to create a free e-commerce website google sites tutorial hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create your own free e-commerce store using google sites without having to sign up or pay for anything so let's get into it now everyone knows google sites if you go on to sites.google.com you will be automatically logged in by your gmail account if you have your gmail account logged into your browser like i have then you will automatically be logged in and google sites is a very simplistic website builder. It allows you to create simple and easy and professional looking websites just by taking a look at their template gallery over here. You can see they only have a handful of templates for you to work with and you can create a gorgeous looking website but it's going to be very simple and there is no way to create an e-commerce website directly using Google Sites. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can actually do that for free and it's a very simple integration. You don't need to learn code or anything like that. It's going to be a very simple and easy process. So first off, we're going to begin by creating our website and you can choose a template if you want, but we're just going to continue with blank and we're going to start creating our website. So first off, this is going to be your website editor. On your left, you have your navigation panel to edit your website. And then on your center, you have the preview of your website. And on your top, you have undo and redo buttons and phone preview that you can get and also a sharing button and other settings and tools. Now to get started, first off, you can click on the themes on the right side over here and what you're going to do is you're just going to choose any theme that you like the theme is going to be a overall look of your website so i'm just going with this aristotle theme i'm just going to rename this to t-shirt store like this and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the header type so you can choose four basic header types a title only large banner or a cover so i just want a cover and i'm just going to make the first text to be whatever is motto or logo or whatever of your brand or your store I'm just going to write be fashionable and then I'm going to click on enter site name. I'm just going to add t-shirt fashion like this. Whatever is your e-commerce store name, you're going to add that. Now, after that, you can add more information about your e-commerce store. Like you can add some reference images or something else, but I'm just going to begin by adding a buy now button. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the insert section on the right side over here. And then I'm just going to click on button over here, click on name, and I'm going to name the button buy or shop now and then i'm just going to click on link over here and then we're just going to add the link later on so i'm just going to click on shop now and then you can add the link we're just going to insert this and then i'm just going to move this above over here and then you can also click on the button and customize this however you want so if you want it to be text only if you want it to be outlined or if you want it to be filled out and then you can add the link over here but i'm going to show you guys what link you're actually going to be adding now once you have created this simple front page then you're just going to click on the pages section over here and then you're just going to click on this plus icon and click on new page and then what you're going to do is you're going to add the new page called shop now or you can make this products now within your product section what you're going to do is you can click on the plus icon once more and create a menu section so new menu section and then within your products you can add t-shirts and you can create your second product section which could be trousers or however you want you can create different sections or you can just have one basic product page so if i go into my product page i'm going to change the header type into a title only header and now i'm going to show you how you actually are supposed to add your products now to add your products you're actually going to go on to another platform called power.io it's p-o-w-r.io and this is an amazing platform for you to be able to create your own e-commerce store using google sites and using this platform so all you have to do is click on get started over here here. you can sign up with your facebook or gmail address or your basic email i'm just going to continue on with my gmail address and then this is going to be your dashboard and now what you're going to do is you're just going to click on create new app click on online store click on get app and then you're just going to create a small little online store for your google sites website so now you can see this is going to be your little online store function and you can see it is being loaded over here and then you can just rename this into t-shirt fashion and then what you're going to do this is like a reference so we're just going to click on connect and then you can click on configure payments and now you can enter your paypal email address so whatever is the paypal email address that you're going to be using you can add that over here you can click on connect to stripe payments 
and then you can enable Stripe payments as well. And then you can also enable in-person payments. So if you want to sell your items for cash on delivery, you can also enable that over here as well. And then you can just configure a payment system, click on content, and then we're just going to delete these automated products. These are like the template product. We're going to delete these, click on add new product, and then you can start adding your product. So let's say we have blue t-shirt, then you're going to add the description, soft cotton blended t-shirt, then you're going to add your button text, which is going to be add to cart. And then you can also enable inventory tracking and add the item in stock. So let's say we have a hundred or like 50 in stock. And then you can also enable digital download. So if you have a digital product, you can also choose to sell that. After that, you're going to click on pricing over here. You're going to price your item. Let's say our item is going to be $20 like this and then you can also add a shipping price which could be ten dollars like so then you can also add tax percentages and then you can also choose to add subscription boxes if you want if you are selling any kind of subscription then you can also sell that via this platform as well now after that you have your images section you're going to click on add image and upload the images or you can click on stock image and i'm just going to search for a blue t-shirt and I'm just going to find any image that resembles a blue t-shirt because this is just for reference. Obviously, when you're selling your own products, you're going to be adding your own images. And then you can also click on options and add different option groups like your sizes. So I'm going to click on the options and then we're going to click on the option of size. We're going to click on add option. And then within the option, we're going to add the different choices. So it could be small and then we can click on add option. We can add medium, click on add option, add large large just like that and now we're just going to click on done over here and just like that we've created our first little product in our store now how do i actually add this store front to my product section in my e-commerce store on google sites well for that all i have to do is i'm going to click on publish over here and now i'm just going to click on copy code with this html and once i've done that what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on insert on my product section and in the insert section i'm going to click on embed and then i'm going to click on embed code over here here, and then I'm going to click on paste. Just paste the code. Don't change anything. Don't do anything. Click on next over here. Click on insert. And now you can see a simple little store is being added. You can just expand this box. And now you can see our product has been added. And once you do that, you're just going to click on publish over here. And now you're going to choose the web address that you want. You're going to click on publish. And just like that, I have created a very simple and easy to navigate website. So if I go on to the website over here, so we're just going to open open up the website URL. We're just going to click on publish like so. And now I can go back into my Google Sites homepage and you can see I can click on open a new tab and we're just going to view our actual website over here. So I'm just going to click on over here, click on view published site. And now you can see this is our actual website. If I go into the product section and we're just going to wait for our products to load. So you can see our products have been loaded. I can click on add to cart. I can choose a size and then I can just add to cart and pay via PayPal, Stripe, or any other payment getaway that I added onto my power.io e-commerce store. So that is how simple and easy it is to create your own e-commerce store using Google Sites and power.io. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to do the same. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.